I want to preface this video by saying that this isn't a direct attack to you as a player. If you're watching this video, you're probably thinking, yeah, I do suck at support. And I want to tell you that that's a terrible mindset to have, and exactly why you're making little to no progress towards improving your support gameplay. I also want to say that I am by no means the most talented support player, nor the most talented Overwatch player, period. If you want advice from someone who's actually nuts at support, I recommend watching someone like ML7 because they're consistently on top 500 and understand the game better than anyone. This video is very much a base level kind of tip video to help you players who are new to playing support and who are still struggling to add value to your team. Whether that be because you don't know what to do in specific scenarios or who to play, Hopefully, this video will teach you how to improve at playing support. I'll get into it in a minute, but first, I'm going to ask you to subscribe and leave a like on this video, as I want to continue making Overwatch 2 related content that's not only entertaining, but educational too. So, as a lower skilled player, you're gonna want to play heroes that don't take an insane amount of skill, but can still add amazing value to fights and keep teammates alive for as long as possible. The best example of a hero like this is Baptiste. He has a very simple kit, and if you're coming from a role like DPS, you'll adapt to his playstyle very easily, especially if you play heroes like Ash, who find the most value on the high ground and at a range. He can both deal a lot of damage and heal his teammates a bunch at a range, as well as keep himself alive with his abilities if he gets dived by someone like Genji or Tracer. He also has a lot of vertical mobility, allowing him to get the high ground super easily. I have a guide on how to play Baptiste on my channel, but you should definitely go and check out as many guides on him as you can, because he's one of the supports that dominates every season. Now, the real reason that you quote-unquote suck at playing support is because you're forgetting to deal damage. In this game in the background, I kid you not, I had roughly around 2k healing, which in any other case is absolutely dreadful, admittedly, but by dealing damage as Iliari, I actually helped my team stay alive, because there were no enemies to kill them, and I was constantly getting my ult ready for when we had a big team fight, allowing me to heal them after we dealt with the enemies. This isn't me saying don't heal your teammates, because obviously as a support, that is a key part of your role. But you can add a hell of a lot more value to the team by dealing damage. Especially now that the DPS passive means your teammates receive 20% less healing when debuffed, so it's actually a lot more beneficial to focus on killing the DPS before anything else, whilst still healing your teammates, of course. You have to keep them at least a little bit stabilized in these fights. I think the last important thing to focus on as a support is your positioning, both in comparison to the enemy team and to your team. There are a few support heroes that are super good in the front line with the rest of the team, like Lucio and Moira, but that's because their playstyle is very much centered around sticking with the team and helping get kills where possible. Most of the other supports are best played at a range, on the high ground, or on an off angle, where the enemy team don't really expect you to be playing. If you are playing at a bit of a distance away from the rest of your team, just be cautious of getting dived by the enemy DPS or tank, because it means you spend more time in spawn and less time healing your teammates or helping secure kills. Luckily, most supports have abilities that allow them to be self-sustainable and therefore buy them enough time to group up with the rest of their team ready for the oncoming team fight. But that just about does it for this video. Now, remember, you might suck at playing support, but don't worry because learning a new role isn't always the easiest. In fact, I would actually argue that support is one of the hardest roles to learn in the game because you need to be able to balance healing and damage and everything else. If we look at it at base value, and this is very much, like, lowest base value, tank is just protect and shoot, DPS is just shoot, and then support is heal, shoot, make sure you don't die, and cap the point because god knows no one else is going to do that. Anyways, thanks for watching. Once again, I'm going to ask you to like this video as it lets me know that you find these videos not only to be helpful, but entertaining. This video was a bit of a doozy, admittedly, because it's the end of the season, but hopefully you found it at least a little bit helpful. Finally, have a nice day or night if you're watching this at night, and make sure to check out my other videos. Not only will I appreciate it, but you might too.